What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top 10 player playing risk, total domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do the fixed game on Fridays. I do the podcast on Wednesdays and every other day. I do whatever I feel like. And we got some new maps this week and we are playing Europe Advanced. The new advanced map pack we we're playing with 60 second turns, balance blitz for rolls. We have blizzards on, fog is off. Let's see if we have alliances on. No alliances, okay. And I assume no AI. Yeah. Blizzards on, fog off, alliances on, 60 second turns. In the first position, we have Nick. Where's Nick gonna go? United States of America, 671 hours played with 260 wins and 445 losses. Nick goes in the far east. Looks like he's popping out of Russia. Oh, those are some good blizzards. I see. That's what he was laughing about. In the second position, we have Velvet Risco from Australia. 15, 10 hours played with 811 wins and 1423 losses. In the third position, we have Sir Tyler from Canada. Tournament finalist, uh, 223 hours played with 291 wins and 180 losses. In the fourth position, we have Storm from an unspecified location. 627 hours played with 300 wins and 281 losses. And I'm in the fifth position. The chat is concerned about how good the blizzards are. In the final position, we have Trenching from the United States of America with 445 hours played, 140 wins, and 343 losses. All right, so where the hell am I going to go? About 20 troops and 12 territories. Alright, Storm's going a couple places. I wonder where I'd like to be. So I'm two away from taking Spain. It's called Southwestern Europe. Spain and Portugal, sure. Um, seems like as good of a place to go as any. turns after me they look almost just like the blizzards and he finishes. What is that one worth? Seven. Okay. What a call to arms. Somebody get this guy. To be able to guard this Russian continent from these three positions. Pretty crazy. Who's gonna break him? You want to let Nick at plus seven? Let's see it. Oh, 
Oh, do I get to hold this? Where is Storm going? Okay, so I'm not going to break Nick, but what I am going to do is I'm going to take him out of these two corners. Oh, is that a two territory plus four? Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. How wonderful. I don't want the guy getting plus seven to be on my borders. I also kind of want to be in these corners. One doesn't make much of a difference to the other. I'm kind of holding this territory at Storm's Grace at the moment. Trenchic holds Iceland. And Nick gets plus 11 on turn 3. I feel like removing from these two corners was very strategic for me. The thing I'm going to want to do next turn is I'm going to want to take a lot of this space here. It's kind of where Tyler is based. I expect him to put some troops in there. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he invests over here, hiding off to the side. I can probably move my face a bit so you guys can see the values on that territory. There you go. That's a little bit better on this map. Okay, if I'll put up, put up there. That's even better. There you go. Okay. All right. Velvet doesn't even try to get that two for four now. So there's. Oh, he gets this one. I see. Someone will have an eye to take that next turn. So Velvet and Storm are in the center. I like being off to the side a whole lot more. So I would want to be where Trenchik, Nick, or I am. And I think what I'm going to do on my turn is I'm going to take a lot of this territory. If possible. Let's see how that goes. Tyler didn't put any in there. Okay, I'm gonna, he's going to lose a bunch of this then. Okay, Storm gets plus eight. Let's see where she goes. I'm actually doing all right this game. Let's, uh, let's keep that going, shall we? map. Alright, Trentric putting in in Egypt and in Scotland. Holding two corners essentially, that's a pretty good way to do it. Velvet is going to hold that plus four. But Storm took the other one. He's going to take it back. Or is he going to threaten me with an eight stack? Oh. 
think what I do is I let him in the door. I just take, 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 and maybe sit there. And I'll see if he breaks me or not. It's a guard, but it's not a real guard. Let's see if he decides to break me. So what's this, plus six? That's good. If I can hold plus ten. I don't think I will, though. But having this C lane blocked means that I can push this way next turn. Nick getting 12 troops. Yeah, Nick's going to pull ahead. Right, now if Velvet breaks me, I'm in bigger trouble. Velvet skips. Okay. Gonna let Nick hold Germany too. What's that one worth? Plus five? It's called Central Europe for some reason. Oh, Nick doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. Well, somebody needs to stop him, otherwise, he's going to take over the world. Yeah, I like Trenchik's three positions a lot. Did. We let Nick hold the German continent as well. It's too many troops. Ooh, Storm's not going to like that. Yikes. Every bonus, pretty much.
<laughs> I don't think Storm liked it. Yeah, the, uh, the, the continents still seem to be worth more than the cards after the first trade-in. So your positioning matters, the continents you take matter. The blizzards on this map really screw it up a lot. Trenchick not going to be able to take Nick. Oh, I guess he's thinking he's going to get that single with this 11 stack. Don't think he has time. Nick will survive. Will he match in? Velvet not taking a card. Oh my god. Oh, you don't leave him with one territory. So, can Velvet get in there if Nick doesn't have a match? Oh, he's got a match on three, ladies and gentlemen! Nick has a match on three like he always does. Oh my goodness gracious, where's it going? <laughs> Alright, he's using it to break my continents. That's jokes. What a dick. <laughs> That is a professional, professional dick. Alright, Tyler is thinking about what to do. I'm just chirping him now.
All right. Tyler's only five cards. That's it for Tyler. Ooh, Storm is also holding lots of cards. I have a line to kill Storm. Hmm. This might be it. Yeah. I get two players holding five cards. second. Okay. Good game. Can a yippee from Nick? I'll take it. up <laughs> no no oh fuck yeah, I got got I got got by that there those don't connect huh those don't connect Fuck me. doesn't try to take storm. That's odd. Oh, Storm bought it out. Oh, no. Yeah, she thought I had her dead, too. That's a bummer. 
I guess I killed Velvet? Are those actually not contiguous pieces? Hmm. That doesn't work either. These blizzards are fucked. Let's see if white can beat me. Or let's see if white can get storm and get those three cards, which is kind of what I'm trying to set up for at the moment. Does he clear out this? He takes the whole corner. No, he doesn't leave me a line there. Right. So we're hoping that the Stormbot doesn't have a match on three and I can get four cards. Otherwise, I'm totally boned. Match on three. I'm fucked. I lose this game. All right. take him a lot of time to recover. Where do I put my stack? Somewhere else, I think. Now I can add to it. That's how I'll do that. Cool. Match on three? No. Okay.
I don't think this guy can move fast enough. <laughs> it gives me a yeah. <laughs> this one out a little bit better, aren't I? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to play more of this Europe Advanced and we'll figure it out. Um, yeah, I hope you found some of it fun or informative, and until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.